One nation has come up with more innovations to help feed the hungry, cure the sick, save the environment, and repair the world than nearly any other. It's Israel, a country the size of New Jersey. My name is Avi Yorish, and I am the author of Thou Shalt Innovate, How Israeli Ingenuity Repairs the World, a book about Israelis of all faiths and backgrounds whose innovations are making the world a better place. How did Israel, with few natural resources, a small population, and surrounded by a hostile environment, become such a font of innovation? Israel has produced more startups than Canada, India, Japan, Korea, and the United Kingdom combined. Outside of North America, no other country has more companies listed on the NASDAQ. And despite half the country being a desert, Israel is a global water superpower that has achieved full water independence. Israel is no longer reliant on the weather or its neighbors for its water needs. The world's picture of Israel is defined by terror and violence. That's not an accurate picture. There is also a more hopeful and life-affirming side to Israel. Look at any of the top 10 problems facing the world and there's bound to be someone from Israel solving it. Allow me to share just a few examples. The world's first modern drip irrigation system was developed by Simcha Blas and Kibbutz Chatzirim. It now helps billions of people conserve more water and grow more food. The emergency bandage, which instantly stops massive bleeding and is now standard issue for the US military, was developed by an Israeli medic, Bernard Barnatan. It has saved countless lives, including Congresswoman Gabby Giffords a GPS for brain surgeons to guide them as they carry out deep brain stimulation procedures used to treat neurological disorders like Parkinson's. Developed by Imad and Reem Yunus, in the process, they also founded Israel's largest Arab high-tech company. PillCam, an ingestible camera which can travel through the intestines to take pictures of your insides, was created by Dr. Davriel Edan. It has changed the way doctors screen, diagnose and treat internal diseases. If you've ever had a colonoscopy, you'll know why this is truly revolutionary. Mobileye, the basic system behind driverless cars was invented by Amnon Shashua and Ziv Amiram. Right now it prevents accidents by alerting human drivers, but one day soon, driverless tech will make car accidents and millions of deaths a thing of the past. Mazur Robotics, turned CT scans into a 3D hologram image of the body, was developed by Moshe Shoham and Eli Zahavi. Surgeons can now virtually plan entire procedures before walking into the operating room, drastically improving success rates and saving lives. An exoskeleton that allows paraplegics to walk again was developed by Dr. Amit Gofer. He also created a device that allows quadriplegics to get around. Emergency medicine has been transformed by Ellie Beer and his pioneering AmbiCycles, which serve as mini ambulance motorcycles and a geolocator app that victims can use to automatically call the five nearest EMTs. iMusic allows the blind to almost see. Devised by Dr. Amir Amedi, users wear special glasses with a camera that translates their environment into a recognizable musical code. Waze is the world's most popular app for navigating traffic and reducing gas consumption. It was founded by Uri Levine, Eu Chaptai, and Amir Shinar. The Grain Cocoon is a Ziploc bag that can hold 100 tons of grain, prevent spoiling, and suffocate bugs, drastically reducing pesticide use. It was created by Shlomo Navarro. What has led so many Israelis to change the world with these incredible innovations? Israel's innovative success stems from a number of factors, including benefiting from a culture that encourages questioning and challenging authority. The country embraces its ethnic, political, and religious diversity and has a culture that strongly values secular institutions. Other factors such as chutzpah, obligatory military service, renowned universities, smart big government and a dearth of natural resources come together as national characteristics to explain how tiny Israel became a technological powerhouse. 
These factors are combined with a 3,000 year old religious tradition that has been calling on us all to do our part to repair the world, including feeding the hungry, curing the sick, and helping those in need. This concept of tikkun olam has helped to shape a pursuit for a greater purpose in Jewish culture. As the world faces many grave challenges, including some threatening the very future of our planet and humanity, Israel is playing an outsized role in coming up with creative and impactful solutions. I hope that more people around the world who are looking to solve these challenges, policymakers, aid workers, scientists, and others, will turn to Israel to find existing innovations that can make a difference or co-create new ones together. I also hope that the stories of these Israeli innovators and the creativity and persistence with which they are working to save lives and improve the world will be as deeply inspiring to you as they were to me. I am Avi Yorish, author of Thou Shalt Innovate, How Israeli Ingenuity Repairs the World.